Oh, hey there, guys. Long Duck Dong Jason Davis here. Or in this case, you can call me Jurassic Jason. Uh, before I make this, before I say anything in this video, I would like to say, Storm Dankers, you are right. My next video is not best game ever. Is this. I have to do this. I wanted to do this with the Jurassic, first Jurassic World. So, I'm your news man for your updates for Jurassic World 2. Okay. I'm just so far to this to have, to, since yesterday. Okay, because I tried to make this video yesterday, but every time I redid it and try to upload it, it wouldn't do it. So, I'm redoing it again, hopefully for the third time that this gonna work so first things first we're, let's talk about the cast returning for Jurassic World you have Chris Pratt's character uh, which is Owen Grady of course uh, Bryce Dallas Howard's returning as Claire Deering which is pretty cool pretty cool and a BD Wong you remember him as the asshole from Jurassic World who took off with the embryos if you remember, he's the dumb scientist in the first Jurassic Park movie who gave the dinosaurs frog DNA, which, if you he, guess he didn't know, that some frogs can change their sex and go from this to this and uh, start mating with each other, so way to go. Scientist of the year. Uh, I got some news about some new characters. Some, here are some of the actors, and I uh, hope I'm pronouncing these right. Uh, Brooke Norbury, Jofline Jof Chaplin, Ted Levin, Levin, Daniela Perida, Justice Smith, and James Cornwell. James Cornwell's character, actually, is connected to John Hammond, so supposedly he's the, he was the partner to John Hammond. Uh, we actually have a character returning to the franchise. Uh, Jeff Goldblum's returning. That's right. If you remember him, and you probably did, because if you're watching this, you're probably a Jurassic fan. But Jeff Goldblum's character was Dr. Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Parks 1 and 2. And he's my favorite character, and seeing him return is great, okay? And Jurassic Park 3, he wasn't in it, but they mentioned him about the San Diego incident, and in Lost, not Lost World, Jurassic World, he has a book in that movie, and you can see a picture of him going like this, and it says God creates dinosaurs, so that's pretty cool. Another character returning is the T-Rex is returning, and if you've seen Jurassic World, then you probably know that the T-Rex in that movie is the same T-Rex in from Jurassic World. Okay, so got the scars from the Raptor fight from the first movie, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the film will be promises to be darker and scarier. Okay, so if you got all these other films, you're like, oh yeah, it's really good, but it's supposed to be darker and scarier, I guess. Hmm. Uh, Jurassic Park Jurassic Park 2. Jurassic World 2 is supposed to be the most expensive film ever to be made. In this case, way to go for them. Um, someone said, I don't know if it was Chew, I think it was through a Twitter or an interview or something, but I don't know who said it, but they were like, this movie is not about no dinosaurs chasing people. He said it was getting tiring and old. I don't know, you have to check this out. Uh, animatronics are returning, so that's pretty good. In Jurassic World, they were in there, but you couldn't really tell, okay, because everything was CGI, so it's great to see them return. Um, there is set in dinosaur pictures, and the set in dinosaur pictures, um, it's pretty cool. It, you can see the set from Jurassic World. In the new movie, it's all torn down and stuff, and there's, like, pictures of the dinosaur animatronics. This is pretty interesting. There's a helicopter video that's been coming up on, like, YouTube recently, and if you click the links in the below, I'll have it below, 
the video link for the helicopter scene and or the bubble right there or in that area right there click it I'll send you to the helicopter video but the video shows a female character or something and it's like 30 seconds long and it's dark and it's raining and there's a helicopter going nothing too exciting but for me it would look pretty exciting um, Here's my favorite piece of information, is that Jurassic World 2 will feature a submarine-based scene. Okay? So, what I'm thinking is, like, in Jurassic World 2, they're taking dinosaurs off the island via submarine, and it's supposed to have a reptilian underwater creature destroy it, probably the Mosasaur since it was in Jurassic World, but I would like to see like a Megalodon Mosasaur fight underwater. Maybe we'll see it in uh, Jurassic Space 25, okay, where the dinosaurs on the moon, they're shooting laser guns and, you know, it's pretty, pretty cool. So, about, about wraps it up for Jurassic World 2 news right now. So, I'm your host, Long Duck Dong Jason Davis. See you next time.